Hey there, it's Lisa, and hope you're having a great day today. I've got a message on my heart today that I've actually had on my heart for probably about a week now. I've just had so much other stuff going on and really just didn't get a chance to share it, but I'm going to share it today. You know, a lot of people think that healing went out with the apostles and it's not relevant. It's just not for today. And a lot of you who are on, you know, my page, you do believe that healing is for today. A lot of you saw the healing event that I did um, in November. And the bottom line is this. I recently was driving in my car and I was listening to an audio book by John G. Lake. And John G. Lake is a general in the faith, or I should say he was, when he was, he was here on the earth. And John G. Lake was amazing. He had an amazing healing ministry. And I mean, hundreds of thousands of people were healed by the power of God under his ministry. And he was saying in this audiobook that he was one of 16 children and eight of his family members had been permitted to die. This is the way he said it. And he said that, and this was before he really knew the truth about what God you know about the power of God and healing and so when his wife was on her deathbed this was amazing by then he had he had known the power of God but not fully yet he had seen you know his siblings get healed uh, you know through this other ministry and anyway he said that when his wife was on his deathbed he came home from I believe it was the hospital or wherever she was and he was so upset he said he took his Bible off of the mantle and he threw it on his table. And he said that if ever God did something for a man, he did it for John G. Lake that day. And that is the day that everything turned around for him. He said that his Bible is like God just literally, psh, his Bible opened to Acts 10.38. And I'm going to read this to you because... I believe that many are frustrated. You know, you've seen even family members go home to be with the Lord. And we know what the word says, by his stripes we were healed. But also, you know, it's up to us. It's never the Lord's on the Lord's end. It's on our end with receiving, believing. I know this, you know, even in my own life, you know, when I've, there's been times and I'm like, Lord, what's the deal? If you guys saw the healing video, you saw my story about uh, my wrist, you know, and, and how the cyst, it was the size of a BB. Anyway, long story short, you can go back and watch it. It was such a blessing. I've even watched it. That video was anointed. It has ministered to me. So anyway, John G. Lake opened, his Bible opened to Acts 1038. And this is what it says. He said, because remember, he was frustrated. What, why isn't my wife like getting healed? You know, and it, he's the word of God said it right there. Why? He said, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil. And he said that a lightning bolt came on and then it said, you know, how Jesus, it says, went about doing good, healing all who were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. So he knew right then and there it was the devil. It was the devil that was oppressing his wife. She had some kind of incurable disease and the doctors left her basically to die. Even a, a good friend who was a minister of his came out from seeing his wife and basically said, John, you need to just prepare, you know, to say goodbye to your wife. She's going to die. And that's when he went home so upset and threw his Bible and it opened and he found the answer. And so he knew that that was the answer. Long story short, his wife got healed. His wife got healed by the power of God. And anyway, it says here too that in Luke 13, 10 through 15, you've got to hear this. This is so good. Jesus healed a crippled woman on the Sabbath, but this is what Jesus said. He said on, okay, the word says, on a Sabbath, Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues and a woman who had been crippled by a spirit for 18 years, right? Right? She couldn't bend over. She couldn't straighten up at all, at all. And when Jesus saw her, he called her forward and said to her, woman, you are set free from your infirmity. She had a spirit of infirmity. You know, I'm just saying, listen, thank God for doctors. Thank God for medicine, right? Because thank God for it. However, Jesus 
you know, medical science can only go so far. They can't detect demons, right? Even psychiatrists, it deals with the psyche, but they can't detect demons and demons are real. Why? Because God said they are. God's word is, oh my gosh, this woman had a spirit of infirmity. John G. Lake's own wife, who was a strong believer, she was being oppressed by the devil. And then it was clear he had the power, right, to do what Jesus did. John 14, 12, you'll do greater works than these because I go to be with my father. So in John 38, it says, Jesus said, for I have come down from heaven to do the will of God who sent me not to do my own will. Guess what? Jesus said right there why he came. He came to destroy the works of the devil. This is so, so good. And so, you know, I'm going to keep this video short, but I had to share this with you. And so I just want to pray Ephesians 1, 1, 17 through 21 over you today, right? And so I ask God, the glorious father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so you might grow in your knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh my gosh. I pray that your hearts would be flooded with light so you can understand the confident hope, so good, that the Lord has given to us who believe in him, his glorious, you know, his holy people, and that you would know what are the riches of, the riches of his glorious inheritance Oh my gosh, if we just get a, get, get a revelation of what Jesus paid the price for, for you and me to have. Oh my gosh. Guys, we got to go after this with everything we've got because people are sick and dying all around us. They don't have the answers. The answer is right here. The answer is right here. And Jesus wants us on this earth to go and do the works that he did and even greater works are we going to see when we go after him with everything that we've got. I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you. You know, we're all growing. I'm growing. We're all growing. But this is what we've got to do. We've got to get into this word. We've got to find out what it says, and we've got to believe it. Don't be moved by what you see. Don't be moved by what you feel. Only be moved by what the word says, because it is truth. It is truth, right? Doctors, they'll have facts. They'll have reports. Whose report are you going to believe? you got to believe the word of truth, the word of God Almighty. You know, Jesus, his ministry, um, if you read John chapter 5, it basically, it, it's about the ministry of Jesus. And this is what the Lord wants you and I walking in today. Again, there are people sick and dying everywhere. We've got the answer but we've got to get strong in our own walk, right? You've got to get strong in your own walk so they know where to turn. God is shining his light on those who are his today. You're his. If, you, if Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, you've already got the Holy Spirit living on the inside of you. And you can even on your own ask the Lord, ask the Lord, say, Father, in Jesus' name, baptize me with your Holy Spirit and fire that I can go and do the works of Jesus. Do the will of you, Lord, that you want me to do. Oh, oh my goodness. I know you guys. I am just, I'm, I'm a firecracker for Jesus. So anyway, I am really excited. I needed to bring this message to you today. And that's the message for today. And so make sure that you stay tuned to the page. I've got a really special, you know, Facebook Live coming up tomorrow night. And I'm super excited about it. So God bless you. And um, we'll see you tomorrow. All right. Bye now. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye now. Oh, P.S. I always do this. I shouldn't say that, but I do. Share this video with anybody that you believe it will bless. And, uh, yeah, just share the video. It, and if it's, sorry about that. And so, um, just share it with anybody that you believe that it will help. And make sure that you leave a comment on how it's blessed you or maybe how it's enlightened you. All right. Well, God bless you. And I will talk with you soon. And you're already blessed. All right, bye-bye now.